Peace, peace, beautiful beings, and welcome to today's edition of Getting to Know Coach V in Under Three <laughs> Minutes, that is. Now today may be a few minutes longer than three minutes because this is a special edition of Getting to Know Coach V in Under Three because I would like to share with you three simple ideas that you can use immediately to stay in charge of your mental health during this coronavirus outbreak. Number one, take a deep breath and notice your heartbeat. So I would like for you to inhale through your nose for four counts. Hold your breath for four counts and then Exhale through your mouth for four counts. I want you to do that so that you can notice and be in charge of your breathing as well as to slow down your heart rate. When you are anxious or fearful or excited about something, your heart rate increases. And a way to bring yourself back to center and back into the present moment is to practice your breathing and to notice your heart rate. Number two, I want you to be informed about what's going on, but not be inundated. Here's the difference. When you're informed, you know enough about a situation to make a logical, knowledgeable next step. You can make sure that your next move or series of moves are in your best interest because you've gathered enough information about a situation. And then you move on. When you choose to be inundated with information, you got to keep up with every second of every minute of every day. New piece of information, breaking news, who said what, if Channel 5 reported it this way, I want to check Channel 12 and see if they said the same thing. What are they saying on social media? How are my friends feeling about it? Let me text a group chat about it. Let me give a phone call to someone about it. You're inundating yourself with information. And oftentimes, it's the same information being regurgitated that you're jamming and cramming into your psyche. When people choose to be inundated with things, it becomes like an obsession to the point that they neglect other things that they should be paying attention to, whether it's their family, their job, their home responsibilities. They neglect those things because they are so consumed with every piece of information that they can gather. When you choose to be informed, you are able to get the information that you need to make a logical next step or next move, and then you go on about your day. Number three, be practical and self-aware and exercise some common sense. Be practical in that you don't need to buy 20 packs of toilet paper for a family of four. If there's six cans of Lysol on the shelf, you probably don't need all six. Being practical shows love and concern for your fellow man. You want to make sure that you're safe, but then you're also aware that, hey, this is excessive, so let me put some of this back so that the next family can take care of themselves. You want to be self-aware when it comes to habits and hygiene practices that can help slow down the spread of the virus. So washing your hands at least 20 seconds with soap and warm water, hand sanitizer if soap and warm water isn't available, dabbing when you sneeze and you cough. If you have a tissue and you use it to blow your nose or cough into it, dispose of it immediately and go wash your hands. Don't talk all close in people's personal space and in their face and you breathing in their germs and you're sharing your germs. And if you feel ill, stay home. Don't go out to public places or work or school and willy-nilly spread your germs around. 
common sense, practical, self-aware practices are really good to have on a day-to-day -day basis and even more so are better when we amp up those practices during a crisis such as the coronavirus. So those are three tips that I have for you to help you stay in charge of your mental health during this pandemic. How will these things help you stay in charge of your mental health? Practicing these three things will allow you to be in charge of your own thoughts without being influenced by media outlets, worry warts, negative Nancys and Nelsons, and anything else that can get you in a disarray and a tizzy. Unfortunately, we live in a society where there are diseases and illnesses and viruses every day. So we're not minimizing the importance of this particular virus. We're just choosing to be in charge of our thoughts and in turn being in charge of our energy so that we respond accordingly when we take care of ourselves and our families. We are choosing not to be influenced and swayed to and fro by the media outlets, by social media, and by how I mentioned the negative Nancys and Nelsons and the worry wards. We are choosing to put our faith and our higher power and do the things that we physically can to keep ourselves and our families safe. So I hope this information resonated with you. If so, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for tuning in to this special edition of getting to know Coach V in under three minutes, that is. So it was a little longer than three minutes, but we left with three pieces of information to help us stay in charge of our mental health during this coronavirus outbreak. I look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow. Be safe, be practical, be well, and be blessed.